Yeah. Hi, I'm Janai Lane, and I'm here with my good friend, Ron D'Amico, and we're going to talk with you a little bit about some exciting things that have been happening in our world. We just hosted um, our first We Heal retreat in Sedona, and the miracles were off the charts. I mean, some of the things that were happening, that we're seeing, we haven't really seen before at this level. You know, for example, someone's tumor shrinking, someone um, who had arthritis for 36 years and couldn't feel their fingertips are now feeling them. Other people had spontaneous awakenings or couldn't meditate before, and now they are meditating. Not only that, but they're receiving direct messages from the divine, you know, and we're, I mean, there's just too many to list, but I want to talk about and ask Ron, what is actually happening? What is he seeing as a master healer that he is? And he's able to see on many different levels, you know, what he thinks is going on at these retreats that we're co-creating together with collective effervescence. Well, thank you so much for asking me the question. Hello, everybody. Um, you know, one of the things that I realized about you and I, when we first talked about doing this, is the moment we set our intent, the energy begins to come together in a convergence format that literally expresses itself at a level of divine truth that I haven't seen before. You know, it's it's rare that you see balanced energies come together. And what I've noticed is with the way you, Janai, carry the essence of that divine feminine, it is such a pure state of truth. And when we come together with the divine masculine in the healthiest way that I know how to access it, and we've come together, the energy of what we are in the presence of each other expands exponentially. But what I also notice is not just within the expansion, I notice that the openings for people's systems to align within their own nature begins to expand faster than they can do it on their own. And the energy, literally, as we do what we do, it systematically expands exponentially. And when people are ready, and that's what happened with these people. They were willing to allow the miraculous to take shape. And they were willing to know it for themselves as a divine truth. And when you have that, that is the perfect combination for a miraculous hearing, healing to occur. And that's what I find with us because both of us believe with everything we are that the miraculous is life. We don't need to operate on a timeline in a measured perspective based on what people say. We just know this is truth. And when we put it out there and people know it within themselves, boom, that's what we yeah. see. Yeah. And it's like everybody steps into that field, you know, and, you know, you had a Freudian slip, the miraculous hearing, because yes. we were also hearing and many of the people in attendance were hearing the masters and hearing the angelic realms and he hearing the saints. And that in itself was a healing because it's really our divine birthright to hear and to be guided and to know that truth within ourselves, right? And when we see it and feel it and touch it and it's palpable in a room, in a space, in a sacred container, then we remember because we all are capable of this, right? You know, and that this synergy you know, one of the things I noticed is when you and I were working on people, it was like energetically, it was like a magnet, you know, like the positive and negative. And it created this magnet, which made the intention of the person because the person is doing the healing. We're right. not, we're just the door. But then that magnitude of grace that comes through yes. the door um, is somehow amplified energetically Yep. when we're working together and then the whole room is in coherence as well with their intention for that person to heal. Right. And with what you just said, it's that coming together, that amplified intent 
exponentially expands what can happen. And this is what people are beginning to remember. They're seeking it because we have lived in isolation far too long. Now we want to come together in a way where we can not only support others, and this is the key, but we can receive the support that we have been longing for. It's that will, and this I see within what we're doing here. As we come together, once we focus, duality dissolves. When duality dissolves, the reference points begin to let go. And when the references of what we've been taught start to fade, the truth is birthed. And that's what we see with the miracles and the miraculous. So what you're saying is perfectly true. And, and when Janai comes forth with what she taps into at the angelic realm and the level of the masters, that is just like the cosmic orchestra of the divine saying, here's the symphony, everybody come and play, and all come to play. It is beautiful to experience. Yeah, and you know, like my prayer, and I know yours has, has been a very similar one, for, for decades has been, you know, use me, God, you know, how can I serve? And, yeah. and I feel like we're, we're really touching upon something that's really important at this time on planet earth, because we need the collective, we need the we to heal, we need the power of the group, we need the, the egalitarian structure, you know, that, that we're creating that we're all equal, we're yes. all the same, you know, and when we put our energy together and we have a common intention for highest good. I mean, it, it's amazing what can happen. And we're, we're so excited about, you know, we knew this to be true, but the actual results that we're seeing, we're so excited. And, and this is one of the reasons we're opening it up to everybody and we're holding our next, uh, half day retreat virtually so that anyone all over the world can attend and experience this and be a part of this and step into that morphic field and feel that unconditional love and peace and participate in your healing and the healing of others. And of course we need this right now. We oh, really do. Very much so. The world is expressing a higher truth we no longer wish to operate in pain anymore. We now want to operate in our love and our compassion and our empathy to know the truth of what we have the ability to be. And we are realizing when we come together through our hearts, the world will honor it in ways we can barely imagine right now. Yeah, yeah. So we look forward to seeing you. We hope you will join us. We're sending you so much love and healing blessings. Yes. Namaste. Gentle travels.